What's happening guys, back at you with the another video. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the top 10 Funko Pops that I got this year. So let's get to it. So this past year, 2021, was pretty good in Funko Pops and Funko in general. They had some pretty good releases, I gotta say. Pretty good releases, a lot of releases and a lot of pops that people want to be made were made this year. And I gotta say, there's a lot of great ones. But I wanted to give off a top 10 list for like the best ones that I got this year, best ones that I'm like, uh, that I pretty much got into the collection this year. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with some honorable mentions. All right, so the first honorable mention is gonna come from Marvel. And this one I definitely wanted as soon as I saw it and as soon as it happened in the show, I wanted to get the pop instantly. So. What we got is Sam Wilson, Captain America from the Falcon and Winter Soldier show Disney, on Disney+. Plus. Uh, this is such an awesome pop. I like the way they pretty much constructed his suit to where he has the wings still and, you know, it's the Captain America colors with the shield and all that. It, it just looks amazing, honestly. It looks awesome. It's really cool. Glad to have it in the collection. I'm glad they made it. All right, so another honorable mention this uh, for this year. It's gonna go from Marvel again, another Disney Plus show. What we got is Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch uh, finally realizing her true form and everything, and then they made this pop is definitely one that I wanted to get. So Scarlet Witch, and she has such a great design. They made they, they really knocked it out the park with her new like suit design and everything that she got in WandaVision, and definitely a good show on Disney Plus, and definitely wanted to get this one into the collection. So this is a great addition to the collection for 2021. All right, so let's get into the actual top 10. Starting off with number 10. All right, so at number 10, this is actually gonna be two pops, but they kind of go together, so I decided to add them. So what we got are the Great Saiyan Man and Great Saiyan Girl. These were pops that people, well, at least true Dragon Ball Z fans, wanted to be made. They've been waiting a long time. We got like variations of Saiyan Man, like Gohan as Saiyan Man, uh, a couple of times, but like we never got like a true full Fledged, like say a man suit with the helmet and everything like that but they finally gave it to us as a Funko Shop exclusive so here we go we got great say man and Gohan himself and they also paired it with the great say a girl which was a great addition also to pair pair them together because you usually see them together sometimes in the show um, so great say a man and great say a girl I put them in, in at number 10 All right, moving on to number nine. This was a character that I wanted them to be, that I wanted them to make from DC. So what we got is Doctor Fate here. Doctor Fate, such a great character in DC Comics and DC Universe. And this is one of the characters I been wanting them to make, and they finally made it for uh, what was it New York Comic Con, I believe. Yeah, New York Comic, Con, no San Diego Comic Con. They made it. Uh, so definitely one I want to add to the collection. So this is at in at number nine. All right, so moving on to number eight, this was a line of pops that people wanted. Now they were like clamoring; they wanted this, these characters to be made from the show. And it's such a popular anime, and they want these characters to be made. Funko delivered and made these characters, and everybody was going after them. A lot of them getting so out and stuff like that. So, in at number eight, we got the Chalice Collectibles exclusive Flock and Nosuke. This one is such a cool one. The chase is also pretty cool. I do got the chase also. But um, just something about that boar's head, uh, you know, really, really, really pops it out, you know, in the pop form. And it's flocked too, and just the leaping pose also. So, so cool. Such a cool pop. So, I gotta put it in on my list. Alright, so coming in at number seven. This was a character I wanted to get into collection. I do have this character already, but I only have them in a holographic form. I really wanted like a regular kind of form of them. Um, and there's the uh, New York Comic Con exclusive one that's like hundreds of dollars right now. And it's def definitely not gonna be able to get that one anytime. Uh, so I'm glad that they made a new mold for this character. And it's a character I've been wanting to get, wanting them to make again. And as soon as they made them, announced them, and never had them up for order, I instantly got them. So what we have is 
Qui-Gon Jinn from Star Wars. This one's definitely pretty cool. I like the overall stand that they use on here too. That is like a, kind of a new design stand they're using. And just the overall character from the Star Wars, Qui-Gon Jinn is such a cool character in Star Wars. And just the pose he has with his lightsaber. And you know, he's like kind of ready. He's, he's getting ready to battle and stuff. That's what it looks like in his pose. So it's a great, great addition to the collection that I got in 2021. So that's why I put it on the list. Alright, so coming in at number six, this character, um, funny thing about this one was I pre-ordered it, I remember pre-ordering it right after I got this character. So like I got this character, like the pop of this character, a couple days later was uh the Toy Fair. I forgot which Toy Fair, it was the London or New York Toy Fair they um had and they announced this pop and I was like, damn, I should have waited just a little bit, just a little bit, a couple days ago or so, and they revealed this pop and I pre-ordered it instantly. Because just the design and pose on it is so cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a cool pop. And it glows in the dark also. So great. Another great addition on, you know, great feature on it. So what we have is Endeavor from My Hero Academia. This one's definitely a pretty cool pop. I like the way it is. And he's such a cool character in the show. Um, I really like him. So we have Endeavor here on the list at number six. All right, next up on our list, this is a pop I recently got, so I barely squeezed in uh, for, because I got like a couple of days right before the new year. So I barely squeezed in there, but like I got to say, whenever I heard the announcement for this pop, I didn't even know they were coming out with this pop. Like I know they had the common one, but like this one specifically, I didn't know they were coming out with, with it until it was like, I saw some people getting it and I was like, I instantly got it as soon as I saw it was up for order when I saw other people getting it too and stuff. But um. I definitely want this character to be made, this nerd DC character that I've been wanting Funko to make into pop form. We've been waiting for a while for them to make it. Uh, so, in on the list at number five is going to be Glow in the Dark exclusive uh, Blue Beetle. This is part of the Dia de los Muertos line, uh, which is a pretty cool line. I want to get some of the other Glow in the Dark ones like Batman or Joker. Um, they definitely look pretty cool. I like the way they did the Dia de los Muertos um kind of style to them they each had their own kind of style which is pretty cool and then i want to get some glow in the darks because the glow in the dark ones just pop you know especially with this one this blue beetle and the way it glows up you know you got the blue and you got the face markings on there too and just the way it glows it just is so looks so cool it looks so much better when it glows up uh so definitely character i've been wanting them to make in pop form and definitely add this to the collection instantly and whenever i saw it was up and people were getting it so in at number five we got blue beetle next in, next up in at number four so this was a pop that was really hard to get um i didn't really get it the first time around i wasn't able to get it the first time around i tried to and you know of course sells out and stuff like that it's hard to get but this was a pop that i've been wanting to get all year and i finally got it uh i pulled the trigger on it last month uh, right before the new year, actually, I pulled the trigger on it. I got it right before the new year, and I uh, just like like this char uh, character's pretty cool in the show, yeah. And I like the way they design his pop and stuff like that. But um, I pulled the trigger on this, and you know, glad to have finally have it in the collection now. So, and at number four, we got Nezure from My Hero Academia, such a cool character in the show, and the way her quirk is, and also too. So. This one I pulled the trigger on because you y'all know how much it is and stuff like that. I've ended up pulling the trigger on it right before the new year and ended up getting it because I definitely wanted to add it to collection. Um, so yeah, I pulled the trigger on it and got it. But such a great design that Funko did for her. That's why I put her on the list. So here we go. We got Nezure. All right, coming in at number three is another My Hero Academia character. Uh, I remember seeing this one in GameStop. But I didn't know they were out exactly yet already, but I did see this one in GameStop, and I was like saying this this was definitely one of the new characters that they made that from the new wave that I wanted to get like top one on my list because uh, the character's cool. Design on this pop looks really cool, also. So I was like, I saw it as soon as I saw it in GameStop, I definitely got it. So coming in at number three is going to be Tamaki Amajiki. 
Uh, such a cool character in the show. Sun Eater is his uh, hero name in the show. And he has such a cool quirk, which is Manifest. Uh, so it's definitely a pretty cool character, pretty cool quirk he has. But the design on his pop is what made me want to get it even more. They did such a cool design where, you know, he got his uh, clam hand, he got his wings, um, he got like the tentacles and stuff like that, and just stuff from stuff he ate, you know. Like he's able to eat the uh, stuff and gain the, uh, pretty much the features of that, what he's eating. So, you know, he had like the wings from chicken and he grows wings. He got like a clam hand because he ate clams and stuff like that. And, you know, tentacles and stuff like that. So, uh, he puts some good use of uh, his quirk and the way he does it. So it's pretty cool seeing him in action too in the show and a cool character overall and cool quirk. And then the design on his pop is really cool. So I'm glad they were able to feature some of his powers uh three different features on this pop so definitely a good design on this one i like it so that's why i put him on the list all right coming in at number two is going to come from one of my favorite shows of all time i watched the show as a kid i still watch it to this day off and on uh sometimes i'll just turn it on and start watching it again because it's such a good show it holds up with me and, and just reminds me good memories from childhood too and such a cool show cool character and then when they announced this pop and there's going to be a glow in the dark one too definitely jumped at the opportunity to try to get the glow in the dark one and and again it and this one had to be on the top of my list for this year the way it is it's made it so what we have is the glow in the dark exclusive ang and his avatar state so the way to display this pop is so cool it's like has all the elements that he's able to um pretty much conquer and the ability to do you know you got fire water earth and air all featured in this pop and it looks so cool the design on it is great and awesome and i was glad to get the glow in the dark version i think it's just uh his eyes his eyes and then the arrow that really glow in the dark but still it's still pretty cool to have glow in the dark feature because whenever he's in avatar state you know his eyes his arrow glow up and stuff like that so definitely want to try to get the glow in the dark version of this and just the design that they decided to do with this one to display all the elements that he's able to bend and all that so uh definitely pretty cool pop uh, definitely a great design for this one and i'm glad it's in the collection now that's why i put it on the list all right so we finally get to the number one spot this is the best one in my opinion this is the best character not the best character but in my opinion this was the best design pop out of the demon slayer line that they did this year everybody was clamoring for it, it sold out a lot of times uh and just pretty much in general a lot of the demon slayer pops were selling out but this one was really selling out everybody wanted it and honestly in my opinion it's the best design pop in the whole line and the character is pretty cool too so at number one we got tanjiro in constant flux this is uh awesome this um i have like the water dragon you know and it looks so awesome and so cool the way they just use like the constant flux the water dragon as the stand to and, and then he's like leaping also with his sword and it looks so cool and you have like the actual dragon kind of swirling around him and it comes up and stuff like that and just just the way they made it act like this act as a stand it's such a cool design and i like i really like this this is really cool um cool one and definitely one of my opinion definitely one of the best design ones of the whole demon slayer line and that's why i had to put it at number one for me because it's such a great addition to the collection so glad i was able to pick this one up this year all right so that's going to do it for the top 10 list of 2021 uh for pops that i got this year into the collection uh let me know down in the comments below what you would put as your top 10 but that's going to be the first video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to be part of Team Legendary, all you got to do is subscribe and turn notifications on so you know I post another video. I hope you all have an awesome day. And remember, be legendary.